My name is Jeff White, and I'm the research entomologist for Bedbug Central and the host of Bedbug TV, bedbugcentral.com. I have no idea how I got into bugs and bedbugs. And here I am six years later and having a lot of fun working with bedbugs. And I'll be talking to you about pest control. The last thing we all want is termites eating our investment. Are they inside your house? Are they chewing on the wood that makes up your house? It's a great question and one of the most difficult questions that we from the pest control industry struggle with. Identifying termites is a very difficult task. They lead very cryptic lifestyles, meaning that they hide very well and they're very difficult to see. One group of termites is what we call subterranean termites. These are termites that are typically associated with your northern states, make colonies outside of the home in the ground. Those colonies travel underneath the ground to the house, eat the wood, and then go back to the colony. The other group of termites that we have are Formosan or drywood termites. Those are termites that can actually make their colonies inside the walls of the house. Again, very difficult to identify because they never have to leave the wall and obviously we can't see into the wall. And so how do you identify these things? One of the easiest ways and one of the ways most people find out that they have termites in their house are by seeing what we call swarmers. Depending on the termite species, they're going to reproduce and try to spread their colonies at different times of the year. And so what people will all of a sudden see are termites coming out of, say, an opening around their sliding glass door in their house. And then all of a sudden they'll see these winged termites flying all over the place. That's an indication that you might have a termite colony somewhere associated with that home. And a lot of times that's how people find out that they have termites. The other ways are detection systems. Pest control companies can install baiting systems around the house that the termites will chew on the wood inside these baiting systems and give us an indication that there might be termites somewhere associated with the home. Beyond that, when it comes to subterranean termites, they typically will make mud tubes up the side of the construction. And so if you go out and walk around your house and you see small dry tubes going up the bottom of the foundation to the home, that's actually probably a termite tube from a subterranean termite. And what that is is it protects them from the dry air and it keeps them moist inside that tube. If you see these tubes, contact a pest control company to identify if it is in fact a termite tube. In terms of the dry wood termites that live in the wall, you may see a hole where these termites are going into that wall and then you'll see frass or fecal material just below that hole in the wall. Again, very tough for a homeowner to identify. If you think you have a problem, you may want to contact a pest control company to identify the situation. So identifying termites is difficult. Keep your eyes open and if you're concerned about it, you may want to consider a baiting system to help you identify a problem as early on as possible.